Hey everyone, how we doing? Hope you're having a great day. And by the time of this video, hope you had a great weekend as well. So welcome back. Uh, as you've seen in the opening clips, I loaded up the 400C and the 261. I had a gentleman last night contact me and ask if I'd come take a look at a tree. And now this gentleman has been a very good customer, firewood customer for Evan. He's really helped Evan promote his business and has referred a lot of people to us. So that's the least I could do, go take a look. He is uh, actually taking a tree down. It's a big dead maple in his father-in-law's backyard. From what I understand, he rented a lift and took it down in sections, but he's got the trunk of the tree, probably a 15 foot trunk of the tree left. He doesn't have a chainsaw big enough. So he gave me a call. I'm gonna run over there and take a look at that. Not sure if I'll be bringing you all along for that. I still have reservations about putting the camera in people's faces, especially when it's not on your property. It's a friend, a friend through a friend. So one of those situations. So we'll see. Um, and the content has slowed down as you all have noticed. And like I said in the last video, I'm dying to get next door over here and get some more cutting done. But uh, the farmer has yet to cut that for hay. And I think those weeds are about uh, chest high over there now. So we're waiting on that. But uh, I'm really itching to get some firewood done. It's really relatively cool here. It's been in the 90s here in southern Illinois. But the last few mornings have been in the 50s. And it feels great. So I don't know what we're going to get done in this video. You never know. But uh, we're going to do something. And if I find something interesting, I'll bring you all along. So stick with me. We're going to get something done. So, all right, got the saws all loaded up, ready to go. And I did notice one thing. Um, I was in the garage walking past it. I got a kindling box and we do sell kindling bundles. I know 765 guys just put out a video on that that I watched uh, this morning um, about selling kindling bundles. Um, we do sell them. For those of you who've been following along, you know that. Let's see if I can get a shot down in here. This is how we sell them. There's a uh, that's all pine. And uh, if we got time in this video, I'll show you how to make some because I have three left. Um, little fire starter on top. See if I can get in there. Out of egg carton. You guys have seen this before, but we use these little mesh bags. So that might be something we get done in this video. There's only three in there and I noticed the box in the shed was completely out, so pretty much what we get when we get pine i keep it for that keep all the straight grain stuff and uh y'all have seen evan's kindling cracker he's made me two different kinds i like the one that sits on the ground or the floor on a stump of wood and split it so i'm probably going to get some of that splitting so while i'm waiting on this gentleman uh i don't want to call him too early and i definitely don't want to take the 400c over there in the middle of town and wake up the neighbors i'm gonna make some kindling real quick so I'll bring you all along for that. All right, for those of you that are new here, you haven't seen the kindling crackers. This is the first edition that Evan made me, a stand-up uh, cracker. Works pretty well, but it works better when you got like pine. And like I said, there's my egg carton fire starters there we make, and kindling box is empty. So uh, that's his first take on a kindling cracker you can go check a video out i think i did a video on this i don't number them but uh works pretty well on small kindling uh that's already kind of split down and you can finish it up but uh i'm gonna get the other one over here that he uh made that i do like better and uh, we'll show you how that one works all right like i said for those of you who've been following along you have seen this this is the kindling cracker that i do like or prefer to use better. He made this in welding class at school and I have yet to mount it on a round of wood to get it up a little higher. But uh, what I usually do is set it there in my kindling box. And I take some of our pine and put it on my uh, miter saw and just chop it down to around 12 inches. So I know you all have seen that before. Let me see if I can throw this in here. I use a piece of schedule 40, six inch, uh, pipe slide my bags over there's a video out there on that i'm not going to beat you to death with that but uh i'm going to set you up here we're going to crack some of this kindling while we're waiting so 
Here we go. Now I like to split it down pretty small and then I leave some bigger chunks and when I'm bagging it up, I kind of put a little of both in there. But you can pretty much light this pine with a match as it is. But uh, we don't sell them for a ton. We sell them for $2 a piece. More than anything, it's just too bad value to get people to come out here besides going to the convenience store. Just one more thing, one more perk they can get at his firewood stand. He sells the bundles here at the house for $6 each. So if they get three bundles of firewood, they can get a kindling bundle for two bucks. They don't have to make change. It just makes it easier. And kindling does tend to be more time consuming, but on a morning like this, Nothing going on right now. It's just something to do. I usually make up 15 or 20 at a time and just stack them in the box. So when I need them, I've got them. All right, how about we speed this up? Make up one real quick right here. Like I said, I did do a video on this. Maybe a short on this, real simple. Put the bag over. Grab a good handful. Drop it down in. You guys know the drill. I was joking with Evan that now that he made that firewood bundler off of Chris at Wolf Ridge's idea that he need to make me a little tiny one for this bundler here for my kindling bundles. He said he could do it. Stick firewood or fire starter in there. Pull it off. Wrap it up, and I forgot to get, I use zip ties. These small Harbor Freight zip ties are literally pennies on the dollar. What I found easiest. And zip tie it. There's one. Well, there you go in literally probably 10 to 12 minutes five kindling bundles so i'm gonna get them put up in the stand and move on to something else and uh probably later on it's supposed to rain i'll probably make about 10 more but uh just thought i'd bring you all along for that real quick while we're waiting
we've got eight of them in there now. I'd say that'll do it for a while. Well, all right, everybody. I'm over here at the job, and uh, unfortunately, the tree's already on the ground. So uh, he had his daughter here helping, and uh, the homeowner was outside. I just didn't feel like getting the camera out and invading their privacy, but he did say it was okay. He went ahead and took a load to the farm to dump it, and uh, I'm going to walk you guys over here and show you this uh what he had going on here it was a dead silver maple some of it here behind me he took a fence out and everything else just trying to clean the property up here there's a big old load of brush here and you guys might recognize this machine this is the machine that was at my house doing the dirt work it's got like a bucket grapple on there so a lot of stuff going on didn't get the camera out but i just want to show you guys why it was important the way he took this tree down the way he did so let me just turn around here stay on camera here's the tree here 400 c did its job but as you can see garage there house here and uh, he got a uh, kind of a lift a cherry picker type lift and went up and took this tree down in sections and uh, he just didn't have a big enough saw to do the stump. So let me flip the camera around and show you this stump real quick. And I really wish I'd have got this on video for you all. Man, I was bummed out because when it came down, it just exploded. It was about 15 feet tall. And as you can see, the shape of that stump. Carpenter ants all up in it. Rot everywhere. So basically what I did is you can see these notches where the legs come out on this tree. I went ahead and kind of carved down the edge and got it all out of there so i could see how solid the tree was and so i could get a good spot for a wedge and it went that way there's part of it there and then that part over there was the other part when it hit the ground it just shot in half and exploded it would have been a great slow motion short but it is what it is and like i said trying to respect people's privacy and do a buddy a favor but that would have been an excellent video but you can't get them all job's done he's happy he's got some nice uh maple here he was going to throw it all away and i told him you need to keep that look at how this stuff is checking almost all the way through i told him it's ready to burn you can hear it so I told him to keep all that, and if he really wants to, I'll help him split it up with the splitter. Some of it's a little punky like this here, but uh, it's on the ground. He's taking the fence out here all along the back, all the way over to this vinyl fence. So, yep, just thought I'd share that with y'all. Sorry I didn't get no footage of it, but uh, it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna head home my job here is done and uh see what else we can get into today there's gonna be something to do maybe i'll talk to the neighbor and get next door but uh he's got some work here and by the way this is a, a crab apple tree or something here behind me he said if i want that come back and cut it down so if you guys out there do any kind of smoking is that worth me coming back cutting down for the smoker wood crab apple tree let me know in comments all right job done it is heating up fast so i'm gonna get home but i thought while i'm on this side of town i'll run over here and check out evan's third firewood stand it's been out a week yesterday or no a week today and uh so far no sales but uh sometimes they just gotta find it and uh, I'm sure it'll pick up, but like I said, it's been extremely hot here in Southern Illinois, so probably not a lot of people wanting to sit around a campfire. And also these gnats, these buffalo gnats that we've had, they've been uh, pretty ridiculous as well. So being outside in the evening with gnats flying up your nose and in your ears isn't enjoyable either, at least not for me. So flip the camera around, show you this firewood stand here. All right, so I don't know if y'all can see it. I gotta take off, but there's Evan's little firewood stand. It's right there on concrete. 
right next to their ice machine underneath the overhang here at a package liquor store and this is a drive through so I'm going to get on out of here but uh, I think it'll eventually pick up well I thought while we were in the truck here yeah, that's a nice firewood scent <laughs> we'll cruise by the house and go over here and show you why the cutting and chainsaw tree felling action has slowed down there's part of the property i'm cutting on you can see the tall grass i'll take you down here and we'll pull in to the opening here and uh kind of take a look at what it looks like hopefully i don't uh get that limb caught underneath the truck here So yeah, this is what we're up against. If you can see off in the distance there, the uh, brush piles from where we've been cutting. But uh, I mean, this grass is just way too tall to be messing and fighting in. So I'm gonna try to get with the farmer in the next couple days, like I said, and see when this is all coming out. And uh, that way we can get back to some action here. He does have one strip mowed around the outside edge here. I'm kind of trying to see if it goes all the way around. Thought I'd walk out in here. But like I said, I mean, let me flip the camera around here and show you what it looks like against me. It's just not going to be enjoyable to be cutting over here. We're not running out of firewood. So yeah, if you can see how tall this grass is on me, not ideal firewood conditions here. I notice he has been out here with a tractor or something. So uh, I'm gonna walk over here and see if this goes all the way around. If so, maybe we could sneak over here. And if he's not gonna cut this for hay, heck, he'd probably even come over here and shred some trails through it for me. Being as hot as it is though, oh yeah, he did go all the way around here. He's got a trail, probably enough room. See he, for those of y'all that have been watching, I had a big brush pile there, one here and one right there and he's relocated that all over to here. Looks like he may have burnt a little on it. There's a burnt stump there. So yeah, we might be able to get in here. There is a few more trees, a lot of walnuts in here behind me we're wanting to take out. But 95 degrees during the week doesn't make me want to run out with a chainsaw in my hand when I get home after work, if you know what I mean. I know y'all know what I mean. All right, everybody. I think it's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully there was enough content that would interest you enough to stay around here to the end. And like I said before, the content has definitely slowed down as expected. With the summertime coming along, other activities going on, it's hard for a guy like me being a wood hound to go out in 90 degrees and gather firewood. So bear with us. Uh, now that I know this is mowed all the way around, I'm going to be getting back next door because I'm dying to get a chainsaw back on my hand, maybe on a good cool morning, and I'll definitely bring you all along. So that being said, until next time, like I always like to say, get outside. We'll see you.